Hey guys, and I'm back with another video. So today's video is just about Orlando Brown from That's So Raven versus Nick Cannon. Now what is going on? I seen it in a clip in that Orlando was like, Nick Cannon then slobbed on his knob. I'm like, what is really going on? He was like, yeah, Nick sucked my D. Yeah, it felt pretty good. I'm like, no, he did not say that. So when I first heard it, it was like hilarious to me. I was like, no, he didn't just say that. You know, so of course Nick Cannon had responded. And he was just basically like, at first he just thought it was so hilarious that he said that. But then he thought of, you know, he thought about it. He put some thought into it and was like, you know, somebody need to get this young man some help, you know, instead of enabling him or however, his loved ones, he should have someone, you know, close to him that can, you know, you know, put him in some type of treatment facility or whatever because, you know, of course, crack is whack, you know. Drugs could kill you, so he's like, Somebody need to, you know, he need to have, like, a support system around him and, like, try to get him into, like, a drug re rehabilitation center or something, you know. He need to have somebody in his life that can, you know, help him instead of enabling his behavior, you know. So I think um, Orlando was mad because Nick didn't want to put him on Wild and Out because he said something in the video, like, you know, I ain't pressed to be on your dumb ass wild and out show and this, that, and the third, you know, like, fuck Nick. You know, Nick used to suck my D. I was like, no, he didn't just say that. So Nick does make a point, you know, he need to get off, lay off them drugs. I used to watch that so raving. He seemed like, you know, a nice guy, you know, back then, years ago. You know, when That's So Raven was on, maybe, you know, I don't know, Hollywood, you know, chewed him up and spit him out, basically, you know. Maybe he's no good to Hollywood no more. Nobody don't want to, you know, hire him or, you know, put him on little TV shows and, you know, movies and stuff no more. I remember him in Major Pain as well, you know. So maybe, you know, Hollywood used him up and now... He's no good to them anymore. So now that's why he's acting all erratic and, you know, using drugs and stuff like that. But like Whitney Houston said, crack is whack, you know. It's it's not cool to do drugs. So you need you need to lay off them drugs, Orlando. And I really don't think that Nick did, you know, gave him fellatio as he he claimed. You know, you know, people on drugs, they say anything. It doesn't mean that it's true. You know, people that's on drugs, they'll steal from their own mother. You feel what I'm saying? They'll steal from their own child, you know, so you can't believe a crackhead because crackheads, you know, like I said, crackheads will steal from their own mom, will steal from their own child, will steal from their own grandmother. You feel what I'm saying? Just to get, you know. A hit of them drugs. So, Orlando, you need to stay off the drugs. Um, you know, I think Nick should invite him on Wild and Out so Nick could just fry his ass up and just, you know, Joan on him and just, <laughs> you know, cut his ass up the same way they did Black China and made her about made her cry. So maybe you know Nick need to invite him on and just, you know. <laughs> Fry his ass up like, you know, straight go ham on his ass. And because that's what it seemed like he looking for, like some type of attention. He just want to be on a wild and out show. And he's mad that Nick Cannon turned him down. So Nick, invite him on and just Joan on him. Just fry his ass up and make his ass don't even want to come back to wild and out. But what do you, you guys think? Do y'all think that that's true or he's lying and trying to tarnish Nick Cannon's name? Please let me know. Like, share, and subscribe to my video. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see y'all on the next. Bye.